I'm gonna shoot it five rounds, going kind of quickly, and just see how it groups on target. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're gonna talk about this beast for a man. Relatively recent acquisition. I haven't taken it out yet. The range day is coming in about another week, all right? So this is the Kalashnikov USA AR-103. It's an AK variant. Uh, looks to be very well built. As I do a quick once over, you know, I've checked this gun out quite a bit. I broke it down, looped it up, checked for wear, all that stuff. Everything's good to go. Um, as I look at the rivets, <clears throat> none of them are overpressed. You've got all the markings that you should have um, that are appropriate for the firearm, like the Ys and the Xs, right? Um, your dimples for uh, the magwell. This magwell, though, for whatever reason, I haven't measured it, okay? Um, mags go in and out much more freely than they do uh, in the other AK that's coming um, in the head-to-head. -head. I've already done a video on that one. Uh, that one is the South Stop. So I can I can load this a lot faster. Also what I noticed with this rifle is the bolt runs much smoother. So that's nice. Um, I, I you know, I can't say this is a better rifle or better build or any of that stuff. I haven't done the head-to-head -head on the two. I haven't even done a, a direct comparison between the two. That's one of the next videos coming. Um, but uh, for all fairness, they are relatively similar in what they are, right? But this is a 103. The other one is a standard AKM um, you know, type of rifle. However, they do have the same rail setup. Well, same manufacturer, different models, okay? These are the RS Regulate scope mounts, the side mount, right? This has the primary arms, 3X micro prism. The gloss looks really clear. Um, I haven't taken it out yet and shot it, but it looks like a really solid piece of kit. Um, for the money, uh, you, know, you got real clear glass. The etching is very clear. Illumination is nice. Seems to be super solid, okay? This rifle, let's talk about how, to, how it's set up because it's not, you know, absolutely factory. The, the internal, you know, the bolt, bolt carrier factory, barrels factory, all that stuff, okay? But, um, you know, this is the standard AK-74 style brake, standard front sight, standard AK-103 90 degree uh, gas block, right? You've got the Ultimac gas tube rail cover here. You've got the RS Regulate 4 end with this little penis nut here because in California we can't have them like that even though I'm not filming this in California and it will have its fin grip when I do get back um, across state lines. So you can't just readily pop it off and take it down like you would typically. You've got to take the rail off. That's not a big deal. Um, it has the Krebs safety, easily manipulated with one hand, right? Okay. The ALG trigger, so my other one also has the ALG trigger, so when I do the head-to-head -head comparison, do some accuracy testing, it's not like I'm gonna be testing one with a stock trigger and one with an ALG trigger. They both have the ALG trigger, they both have the RS Regulate scope mount, so it's not a factor of whether something's moving around on one versus the other, right? The mounts are the same, or the same manufacturer, same quality. Um, Moving back, we've got the Magpul currently on it. We'll have a shark fin on it, um, you know, when it's back in the state, and then the butt stock that comes with it. This is not, in fact, the folding stock version. Obviously, we can't get that here. So it is a 103, um, really, because of the brake, the, the, the gas block, and then the bolt carrier bolt. Um, 103 uses a thinner stem bolt. Uh, so, you know, that's. That's really a, a quick rundown on this rifle. The cool thing, um, this ALG, I mean, this thing's smooth as shit uh, for an AK. It's crazy. This trigger, okay, this is the ALG Ultimate, whatever the fuck, um, 
enhanced AK trigger. I mean, it consistently breaks between two and a quarter and two and a half pounds. You'd be hard pressed to spend money on a Geisley or a Wilson or anything uh, in your AR platform that's gonna get you that low that's not specifically, you know, speed gun related, you know, competition trigger. Uh, but these LG triggers are really, really cool for the AK platform. Um, again, I am not taking this one out yet. Just wanted to kind of share, uh, you know, kind of the nuts and bolts breakdown real quick with you on this guy. But it's got all the cool guy shit on it, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I got a super good price on this thing for what it has. It's got the M-Lock, um, it's the RS Regulate uh, foreign with the M-Lock, you know, rail adapter and bullshit on it. So you put a little rail piece here, you know, little sling swivel there. So it's ready to rock and roll. We just gotta get it out, put it through its paces. But there it is. And if you want to see that trigger, man, I think it's just um, you can see there's very little reset there and actual break is really nice so stay tuned um i'm actually going to do a side-by-side -side comparison between the zastava and this kalashnikov usa rifle and then we're going to take them both out and shoot them do some accuracy testing what i'll probably do so the the, the playing field is level is take the mount or the, not the mount excuse me take the optic off of here put it on the other one and zero it so i'll shoot this one for groups first then I'll do the same with the other, with the same optic. So I'm not shooting a straight red dot versus a 3X. That's not fair. Um, so they'll have the same optic, same general um, uh, uh, mount platform, right? And then the same trigger. So really it just boils down to accuracy of the mechanical component of, of the firearm, right? The, uh, the barrel, okay? So stay tuned.